Hello, good morning, Raga. Good morning, Sridhar. Right. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Yes. Okay. So we'll start the session. Today I am going to talk about the significance of a first demo. We'll see the significance of a informatical. And Shravan, good morning. Ashrida, hi, this is Shravan's wife. I am attending actually. Hi. Hi. Uh, you are from which location? I am from Hyderabad. Okay, right. One second, guys. We'll start in two minutes. Right. So, good morning, guys. Got a Rao, Rago, and uh, Shavan. And uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. So, then as a first demo, I would like to explain what is the significance of this uh, Power BI. We'll see tomorrow. Then we'll go and we'll see the practical oriented session. That is a complete theoretical part today. Tomorrow, then I will show you this complete practical session. I will show you. See now, first, before going to start the session, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sridhar. Total, I have actually 10 years of experience in IT. I'm supposed to use Informatica Power Center and uh, Teradata, five years. And now I'm working with Power Center Cloud, IICS, Informatica Power Center Cloud. I am working as a ETL expert, a BI analyst. So I'm involved in so many domains like banking, insurance, clinical, waste management, like this. According to the hands on experience, I'm supposed to work on ETL tools, the data stage, SSIS, Informatica, and databases, SQL Server, Oracle, Teradata, DB2. These are all I'm worked. That is my self brief. According to the teaching, I'm representing from NA Technologies from past five years onwards taking the batches for Informatica Power Center and SQL part. So as of the timelines, so in the morning sessions, I am taking the batches. So that is my self brief. Then we'll see here, first of all today, what is I mean by this uh, ATL part? And uh, what is uh, this Informatica? What kind of similar tools available in a market, what we are going to be covered in this uh, course level, then we'll see today. First of all, before going to talk about Informatica Power Center, lot of tools are available in market, 
lot of tools are available in the market. Not only Informatica Power Center, lot of tools are available as a ETL, ETL process for ATL process. Before going to know about this ETL process, we should talk about something else, the data integration. What about the mean by the data integration? Why we require data? What kind of a similar tools we have here to move the data from one place to other place? Then we'll see, first of all. Now see here, Informatica is a corporation. It is not a product it is. Informatica first it is an organization. This organization is providing for us, these are all tools. So intelligence, big data, cloud services, data integration, data quality, security, and master data management. And one more is there that is called as IICS. Informatica cloud service, it is integration, cloud service. Informatica integration, cloud service also they are providing. One corporation, one organization is providing lot of tools for us. As for our requirement, whatever we want, then we can choose. So, but what we are going to discuss here is, we are going to concentrate on intelligence data integration, intelligent data integration. That is power center. Informatica Power Center. Informatica Power Center is a data integration tool. Data integration tool. Not only the power center in the market. So these are all our integration tools. As it is as like as our bikes or cars. Lot of manufacturers are manufacturing the bikes. And they are released. Whatever the requirement is there with us, then according to that, then we can go and we can purchase the tool. For example, somebody is purchasing Activa. Somebody is going to be purchased Hanley Davidson. Somebody is going to be purchased Bullet. Requirement, but functionality won't be very. All our bikes, we can travel one place to other place. But functionality won't be very here. So what is the functionality here? And we can travel one place to other place if it is a bike. Same way, if it is an ETL tool, integration tool it is, we can move the data from one place to other place. Our source to target, we can move the data. See, lot of tools are available, not only Informatica Power Center. Informatica is organization. Informatica providing, so PWC, Power Center, is one of the tool that is integration tool it is, that is integration tool. So, several tools we have here, Talent, IBM Corporation Data Stage, Pantaho, Abinisho, SSIS, Maulsoft. So like this, these are all familiar tools are available to move the data from one place to other place. But the organizations, the major organizations are running with the Informatica Power Center only. The why? Because we'll, in a couple of minutes, then we can realize why we are going to select this Informatica Power Center only for data integrations. Yes. Lot of people nowadays are purchasing, for example, Activa bike, Activa 5G, 6G, 7G, like that. Why? Why means the product is best suit for the customers. That is what they are purchasing. Lot of people are purchasing this Activa bike. The same way here also. So organizations, a lot of organizations are still running with Informatica Power Center tool. So what is mean by the integration? First of all, we need to know here. Okay, Informatica is providing Power Center. 
power center is a data integration tool. What is mean by this data integration? Why we require this data integration? So data integration is nothing but collect this variant sources data and place it into one place, one area that is called as warehouse it is. Collect this data. For example, my business is spread over the world. So I have a one small business is there with me. So my business is spread over the world. So like this, India, US and then UK. So and then China. See here, same business I am doing or take a bank. So the bank is there, Access Bank is there in India or US. So and US, UK and somewhere else, China. So we, uh, we have a business. Business is same. But complete Indian transactions are loading here. US transactions are all loading here. UK transactions are loading here. China transactions are loading here. Then if we want to know about the business, yes, business is going on daily and keep on they are loading. That is called as business tracking. So transactional information present what is going on that is called as a current data. Suppose, for example, if it is a bank in one branch in one city, how many transactions will happen? Lacks of transactions will happen. It's never ever possible to remain by mind it is. Is it right or wrong? That is what they are coming to the systems. Once immediately, if the branch level transaction happened, lot of transactions will happen in one day. Account creation, loans, policies, insurance, debits, credits, everything. These are all ones if it is done, then immediately they are going to be stored somewhere else. Why? Why they are storing? Means if they want to know about the business, what happened, must and should in business level, what is going on to be recorded? What is going on is not recorded, then we can't say what happened. If I can't say what happened, then we can't predict what needs to be happened. These three questions will raise always in a business level. What is going on? What happened? What needs to be happened? So if what is going on, if you are not recording, what happened, then we can't say. What happened, we can't say. Then what needs to be happened, we can't, we can't say this one. So that... So each and every business level in a world, bank, airline, shipping, everything, the are nowadays dependent on so systems. They are dependent on systems. Same way here also. Indian data, Indian all transactions are loading in one place. US transactions, they are loading in one place. UK transactions, they are loading in one place. China transactions, they are loading in one place. But now the business analyst is asking, or a stockholder, business analyst, CEO, CIO, subject matter export. These are all the higher officials in a business level. They are asking now and show me what happened last year in all over the regions. They are not asking the single region. They are asking to show all the regions what happened last year so how many transactions are happened or else how many accounts are created in india us uk china they want to see then what required then we need to integrate it so otherwise then we can't get this common data so that is what we are collecting the data 
and we are integrating and we are placing in one place. This is called as warehouse it is. This one we are saying is a warehouse. So, this is we are saying is a warehouse. But in system level, warehouse is nothing but it is a godown. In system level, so chocolate warehouse, biscuit warehouse, rice warehouse is not there. Yes, of course, it is a bank data. But we can't construct this bank warehouse and or else chocolate warehouse or a biscuit warehouse. Why? Because this one is object is outside, business is outside. We can touch and we can feel outside. Once it's came into the inside of the system, it will be purely converted into data format. In system level, there is no bank, there is no chocolate and biscuit here. Yes, complete, it is pure converting into data format. That is what we are calling as a data warehouse it is, any data. If you are storing a bank data, airlines data, shipping, or else telecom, or else automations. So whatever data, once if it is came inside, that is a purely it's going to be converted into data format. In according to the system, there is no bank, there is no airlines. Outside it is a business. Inside it is a data. That is what we are taking the prefix for the business, bank data, airlines data, shipping data. For our understanding, we are taking the prefix. See now, warehouse means it's a go down, it's a collection of integrated subject it is. What we are doing, we are integrating all over the homogeneous or heterogeneous sources data and we are placing in one place, we are storing in one place that is called as integration. So this is we had to create as a ETL developer. As a ETL developer, what is our job? So as a ETL developer, then we have to integrate or we have to extract the data from homogeneous or heterogeneous sources. Okay, then place into one area. Mm -hmm. That area we are calling as a data warehouse it is. Data warehouse it is. Okay. We have to prepare as a ETL developer, we have to prepare this data warehouse. That is mean by this data integration. Collect the data from variant sources wherever our data is presented. That doesn't matter. So it's all related to my business. Yes, some data I'm loading in Excel. Some data I'm loading in, loaded in a flat file, text file, Excel file, JSON file. XML file or a database I'm using. Anyway, the complete data is related to my business only. But sources are different sources I am taking. So integration means all sources data collect and place in one area that is a mean by this data integration. That is what we are having the tools those are all are called as ETL tools, integration tools. Means what this tool's job is. So these are all tools are going to be collect the information, extract the data from variant sources, and it is going to be integrated. It is going to be loaded in one place. That is what Informatica Power Center, data stage, Talon, Pantaho, Maulsoft, Abinisho, SQL Server Analysis, Integration Service. These are all tools are familiar now. And one more is also there. That is called as ADF, Azure Data Factory. This is also one of this cloud data integration tool like IICS. 
Informatica Integration Cloud Service, Azure Data Factory. And this is a Microsoft Corporation tool. And this is an Informatica Corporation tool it is. Okay. So, so whatever we want, then we can select and we can use. Same like as a products. For example, bikes. All bikes are released by the manufacturer. As for our requirement, simple we can purchase and we can use. And if somebody's requirement is he need to participate in racing and he purchase the Activa bike, is it possible? No, it's not possible. It is. So why? Because yes, of course, Activa is a bike, but it's not the right bike for to participate in racing. And he need to purchase high-end models, more CC, more so more weight and according to this uh, sports sports bikes they need to purchase and somebody's requirement is all our bikes in market but we have a features we have a lot of features of that according to the feature then we have to purchase these are all bikes okay so the same way here also the enterprise is going to be decided what ATL tool or what integration tool they need to they need to work. So they will purchase the license from the corporation. They are going to be purchase this tool from the corporation. Then, here now and this was the we are doing as a ATL. ATL means extract, transform, load. What it is? Extract, transform and load. Extract the data then after then transform the data. Transformation means whatever data we are extracting from here from the source. These are all sources. From different sources, we are extracting the data and then after transformation, whatever data we are extracted, the data what we are doing, validation, cleansing, okay, then after then we are loading into data warehouse. Where we are loading? We are loading into data warehouse. We had to prepare the data warehouse. That is our job. We have to prepare the data warehouse. That was our job. That is meant by this ETL. ETL means extract, transform, load. Extract, transform, and load it is. All of you online guys, please. Please share your mail ID and mobile number. So then I will share with you the basic fundamental documentations. Okay. And for to understand more better about this ATL part. And along with this, then I will give you this lecture also. Recorded session also, then I will share with you. Please text me under chat box, your phone number and mail ID. Right. So then see now. Phone number is also required. Please share my mail ID and phone number. Okay, fine. As an ETL developer, I'm integrating the data from homogeneous or heterogeneous areas and after that we are cleansing this one we are loading into data warehouse then we can ask and what is the use of this warehouse why i need to load already the business is running 
the business is loading the data directly into this business business areas. This one is called as a business area. Direct the data is loading in business area. Then why you need to prepare? Why we need to prepare a data warehouse? Yes, for example, bank is running. Once if I'd done this transaction in ATM center, what happened? Immediately, so our account, something, some amount I'm a withdrawal from ATM center, what happened? So our account immediately, it is going to be detected. Amount is going to be detected here, right or wrong, right? So the same way, transaction is loading immediately. So anyway, we are loading here the data daily. Daily we are loading here. Then why we need to prepare this one means for analysis, not for to run the business, to understand the business, what happened last six months, last one year, last two years, three years. What happened? If you want to know, then we required here, this warehouse is required. So our job is up to here only our job. See here, data integration. is so integrate the data from variant sources into data warehouse. And up to here is our job is completed. Then reporting people will came into the picture. Reporting people will came into the picture and they will extract the data which we are arranged in in a right analysis manner, which we are arranged in data warehouse level. That data they will collect and they are going to be make the data into report format to understand for what they are generating this like this in a graphical format. So to understand the business better, and to for the purpose of analysis, for the purpose of decision making, yes, business level, what happened in business level. If I want to, or else if they want to take business analyst, they want to see what how the business is running. So Hyderabad location, Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai. And like this, if you are showing the graph and they can understood easily. If it is a graph, then they can understood easily. Hyderabad location, sale down, down sale happened. Why it is happened. They will take the decision making to improve or to grow the sale, Hyderabad sale. That is what reporting people will came into the picture to create the reports. And where they will collect the data, they are not going to collect the data from OLTP, means from business system. So this one is a business data. They are not going to take the data from the business. From where they are taking, they are taking the data from the warehouse only. From warehouse, they will take the data. Why? Because we are properly designed, we are properly arranged the data in data warehouse for analysis to done this analysis business level faster, accurate. So then already we are what the, what we done, we are extracted all data and after that we transform this data and we load it into warehouse in a cleansed manner or in a pure analytical way, analytical format, we are loaded a data years and years and years. Then keep on, we can load the data in data warehouse level. For example, if the bank is there, bank running from past 15 years onwards. How many years onwards? 15 years onwards, the bank is running. Okay, fine. If the bank is running from past 15 years onwards, and I'm also maintain the account from past 15 years. So if I'm asking to the bank, if I'm asking the bank and get me and or else show me my bank statement from 15 years, 
since so or else past 15 years transactions i must do then i want to see now or else so some audit level the government is asking me show me this transactions last 15 years then i am asking the bank why because in this bank then i am trans i am doing the transactions from last 15 years onwards then bank needs to be submit the 15 years my transactional information right or wrong exactly so 15 years of data must and should they need to be maintained but here it is not possible to maintain a 15 years why because this business storage directly connected to the customers so atm center directly it is communicating with the customer but if it is a warehouse data warehouse see bank each and every bank is going to be maintain this warehouse that is in mumbai sometimes then we can see mumbai server is not responding or else warehouse is not responding central server is not responding what is the mean of this these are all locations transactional data is going to be loaded in central server or a warehouse level but here limited data they are going to be maintained why because so it needs to be respond faster to the end user it needs to respond faster to the end user if we have a lot of volumes of data then automatically data retrieval capacity will slow down data volume is increased then data retrieval capacity will decrease so that limited data they are going to be maintained in source side this is we are calling as a source source side they are going to be maintained limited data so that is what each and every year they are going to transform the data from here to here warehouses my all 15 years of transactions is placed on warehouse level the same way each and everything in a business each and everything in the business what is going on that will be load in that is going to be load under where it will load it's going to be load in data warehouse level and from the data warehouse reporting people will collect the data as for the business analyst or as for the business they are going to prepare this data into report format or else a graphical format which format they are going to be convert this graphical format they are going to be convert the data why why means so for example my business analyst is asking me what happened last six months in last six months two crore records are there two two crore transactions for every transaction i have a one record if I am going to submit this two crore record to the business analyst, he can't understand this. In Excel or else, in a table format, if I am submitted two crores records to the business analyst and he can't sit and he can't analyze the data. That is what? So within single glance, if they want to understand the business, what happened, then the reporters are going to be converted into report format to take the decision makings. So why we are preparing this? We are preparing this for business analysis to take the faster decision making in a business level. To take this faster decision makings in business level. That is what we are preparing data warehouse. All of you online guys, please provide your mail address and phone numbers and the chat box. So I'm going to be suffice this session. Informatica Power Center, we are talking. 
So Informatica Power Center is data integration tool introduced by this Informatica Corporation. So data integration is nothing but to collect this homogeneous or heterogeneous data in different places data and keep it into one area. That is we are calling as a data integration. What is our job in enterprise level is, we have to extract the data from multiple sources, multiple places, and that is cleans the data and then after then go and load it into data warehouse. Data warehouse preparation is our job. We had to prepare our data. We had to load data from source to target. That is, we are calling as a ETL. ETL means extract, transform, load it is. Why we are doing this data warehouse preparation? For to take the decision makings, for to take the decision makings faster in business level. And what kind of tools are available? These are all tools are available in market. But till, so 80% of organizations are doing with Informatica Power Center only. Why? Because this tool have a such a capacity. And as for the security, as for the faster load, a lot of aspects they will consider at the time of purchase the tool. Same as it is like, uh, for example, bikes. If I want to purchase a car, lot of aspects I will verify before purchase. Mileage, CC, so or else uh, style and look and feel, colors, manufacturer. These are all I will maintenance. These are all aspects before purchase will consider the same way. So the lot of people they are going to be considered. The Informatica is the number one tool in data movements. Secure and faster, and if you want to move the data from one place to other place. So Informatica is one of the tools, right? And what this course is going to be covered here is, this course is going to be cover the complete Informatica power center, on-premises tool it is. It's not a cloud, it's an on-premises tool. Here, daily one-hour session. Daily one-hour. Morning 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Fixed time it is. And Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday. So then after... We are going to be provide all each and every topic wise materials, live videos, the recorded video daily, what we are going to discuss, that video session then you will get and more and more scenarios, real world and what exactly what we are doing in enterprise level. That is According that according to my experience, then I have prepared a lot of scenarios. That scenarios then I will provide you. So, and also FAQs, interview questions, and after this completion of course. So, if you want, then I will help you on resume preparations. So we'll help you. So in resume preparation also. This was the way and tomorrow also we have a demo and this is a first demo. So tomorrow, we have a second demo. And it is complete practical oriented. So I will show you how the power center, Informatica 
power center look like. And we don't require here any code. Okay, it is a complete tool, tool based it is. Okay, 10% coding only, only coding is 10%. The remaining are all are a tool, drag and drop only. You don't require code here, simple drags and drops. So these are all, and also the topics I'm going to be cover here. I will share with you the deep content and day-to-day -day content then I will share with you. These are all our, so suffice the session topics. And I will give you this document and day-to-day -day document then I will show you. So see here now. So these are all day to day. I'm going to be covered here, every topic. So in deep of transformations and debugging techniques, performance techniques. So, and after this, then I will provide you the project also, real world project. If you've done that is, I will explain. That's you have to practice yourself. If you've done the project, then we'll get definitely. So what exactly is happening on enterprise level, then you will get this uh, 70 to 80% of knowledge. And fundamental SQL part I'm going to be covered, but not in deep. So fundamental SQL then I'm going to be covered here. SQL is a mandatory. SQL required, structured query language is required for informatica, not only informatica, all business intelligence tools. SQL is required, structured query language is required. Why? Because day start onwards, we need to touch the data in database only, not in Excel. Don't expect here 1,50,000, 2,000, 3,000 records. Once if enterprise level, if you touch the table, we should we have at least three lakhs records, two to three lakhs records, minimal. Okay. So that much of data, if they want to organize, they want to maintain. So obviously that storage is called as database only. So each and every day, every hour, every minute, then we have to touch the database. That is what. So we required SQL part is also required here. Structured query language is also required. So here I'm going to be cover the fundamentals which we required for informatic or not in deep. So three, four hours, then I will cover SQL part. Then after then, Unix commands. So Unix commands are also required here. Very basic commands is enough to take the data from Unix box. If the operating system is a Unix system, then if you want to take the data from Unix, then we require a Unix commands for we require. Then this is the plan we have for to take the sessions. I will share with you these documents also. So tomorrow, this is the way the lectures from end to end. So slow down, then we'll move from end to end, we'll move begin to end advanced levels, then I will go slow down. Tomorrow we have a second demo. We have a second demo tomorrow. I will show that practical oriented session. That is pure practical oriented. Tool then we'll see how it will work. What is mean by this uh, data movement? How it will move the data from one area to other area? by using Informatica, then we'll see. So if you have any queries online, guys, please raise your queries, Shravan, one by one. Madhuri, maybe I think Madhuri, you are- Yeah, right. hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Very good morning. Sir, I missed the last batch, sir. So, uh, sir, shall oh, I continue? No problem. 
So okay. please share your mail ID, then I will share this uh, demo. Sure, with sure, sir. Please. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Shavan, yes, please. Uh, hi, Sridhar. Uh, I'm Shavan's wife, Sanjana. I wanted to join this informatica course. I just wanted to understand because this is my first time that I'm a non-IT girl. Mm. So this terminology is very much new to me. Exactly. Uh, well, because, yeah. uh, here, uh, the first time you are going to heard about this ten techno terminologies. Exactly. Because no I worked as in a... Yeah, please tell. No worry about it. And uh, so we are designed from past five to seven years onwards. We are in uh work parallelly we are in teaching also and beautiful pattern is there with us to train the students from begin to end and uh, so low level to higher level and slow down then we'll move into the subject level so advanced levels don't worry about it so it's a very simple tool like as excel anyone can learn easily we don't require a prior knowledge. Okay, thank you, Shreda. Thank you so much. So that same way, and whatever the guidelines, then I will provide you the guidelines. Informatical level, how much you want, then such a kind of experience I have. Technically and uh, theoretically. Okay. So that much of a strong I am in uh, informatical. I will give you my best so the explanation for to understand, no worry. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Shri. Anybody else, guys, you have any question? Yes, who didn't uh, share your mail ID and mobile number, please share your mail IDs and mobile numbers under chat box. We'll connect tomorrow. Thank you all of you for to attend this first demo. We'll connect tomorrow for second demo. So we'll see the tool, how it will work, how much it is uh, easy to done this uh, work in Informatica. Hi, we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, Thank you, yes. Hi, uh, Is it mandatory to learn IICS also after? So it's not at all a mandatory to learn as IACS, but if you learn IACS, that is added advantage. More requirements than you can get in uh, career level. But till we have a more requirements up there in Informatica Power Center level. And also Microsoft Excel knowledge, up to what extent we need? Excel we don't require. But SQL is required. Okay. Excel we don't require. Excel knowledge. Microsoft Excel. But SQL is required. Oracle or Oracle or uh, SQL server. Whatever it is, SQL knowledge is a mandatory here. Yes, Excel is not uh, required here. SQL means, uh, is that uh, Oracle SQL or like Microsoft SQL? And there is no actually in a world of Oracle SQL and Microsoft SQL. And they are segregating. People are calling like that. But actually the thing is SQL is a common language for all the databases. Once if I, for example, I'm saying, if I know the driving to drive the bike, then I can drive any bike, right? I'm using Pulsar. So if I'm a purchased a bullet, two, three days difficult is there. Why? Because environment is changed. But the driving is same. The same way here also, SQL is a common language it is. Once if I know the SQL, then we can go and we can speak with any database. ETL also. If I know the ETL process, not only informatical, then we can work on data stage, SSIS. But only the thing is environment will be vary. Two, three days, a little bit of difficulty will raise syntactically or grammatically. Variations will happen. Then rest of all are same. Clear, sir? Yeah, fine. Thank you. Yes, but main point is 
SQL is a main point. So if we are a strong in SQL, then we can smooth, we can get the subject easily. <clears throat> okay. And we can handle situations. We can handle a situation in enterprise level easily than we can handle it. So that is the manager. We'll see how important for SQL. Then I will give you this uh, basic fundamental sessions in SQL also. Thank you, all of you, online guys, for to attend this first demo. We'll connect tomorrow for second demo. Thank you, all of you. I will share today to your mail IDs video this session along with documents. Thank you, all of you. Thank you.